turning myself in. Not yet, they're not. Sean's going to come after you, Michael. And if he can't get to you, he's going to go after your family. Right now, you've got to worry about staying alive. And I'm the best chance you've got. I know how this works. I want people at his house. I want people right now, Sean's friends. got everyone meeting at the Abbey. Friends, and from there, they're going to start pulling your life apart. Friends, family, co-workers. Go! Anyone that can connect them to you. One night. That's all I'm asking. Listen to your father for one night. If I can't figure this out by the morning, I'll walk myself into the precinct and tell him I blew those two officers away. One night, and you never have to see me again. One night. the one they call Luke and Shield. Tell me, why is Arsog the Defiler hunting you? You know of Arsog? How? My people were the first to live in the mountains. Before the orcs came down from the north, the Defiler killed most of my family. But some he enslaved. Not for work, you understand. But for sport. Caging skin changers and torturing them seemed to amuse him. There are others like you. Once there were many. And now? Now there is only one. You need to reach the mountain before the last days of autumn. Before Dorian's death falls. Yes. You are running out of time. Which is why we must go through Mirkwood. The darkness lies upon that forest. Fell things creep beneath those trees. There is an alliance between the orcs of Moria and the necromancer in Dol Guldul. I would not venture there, except in great need. We will take the Elven Road. That path is still safe. Safe? The Wood Elves of Mirkwood are not like their kin. Less wise and more dangerous. But it matters not. What do you mean? These lands are crawling with orcs. Their numbers are growing. And you are on foot. You will never reach the forest alive. I don't like dwarves. They're greedy and blind, blind to the lives of those they deem lesser than their own. But orcs I hate more. <laughs> 